Here's kind of a tricky problem where we're given the radius and uncertainty in the radius of a beach ball, but we're asked to find the percent uncertainty in its volume. This problem is honestly a little bit annoying because in order to find the uncertainty in the volume, we first have to use the volume formula to find the volume for the main radius and for the uncertainty radiuses. So let's first start off with the basics. Remember that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi times the cube of the radius. So let's apply that. Hang on. Let's apply that to the radius we're given. So for the specified radius of 0 0.84 meters, that's 4 thirds pi multiplied by the cube of 0.84 meters. If we put that into a calculator, we find a volume of about 2.483 cubic meters. Now let's use the same formula two more times for the minimum and maximum volumes that the ball can supposedly have. So 4 thirds pi times, and for the minimum, that's going to be 0.84 meters minus 0.04 meters for the low end, which is just 0 0.80 meters. That's cubed, put that into a calculator, and the lowest possible volume of the beach ball, according to the uncertainty, is 2.145 cubic meters. Now let's do the same thing for the max, where instead we're adding 0 0.04 to the radius. So 4 thirds pi times the cube of 0.88 meters. That gives us 2.855 meters cubed. Now this is where things might start getting a little bit weird. If you do the math on it, you'll notice that the distance between the specified value and the minimum value is not exactly the same as the distance between the specified value and the maximum value. So if you were to use only one of these two values when calculating the uncertainty, you'll, you'd actually get a slightly different answer than if you used the other one. So the way we're going to account for this is the uncertainty we're going to be using, the volume uncertainty we're going to be using, is going to be kind of an average, where we're just going to be halving the distance between Vmax and Vmin. So that's one half of 2.855 cubic meters minus 2.145 cubic meters which is equal to 0 0.355 cubic meters. So to find the percent uncertainty, we just take the uncertainty and divide it by the specified volume. So that's 0 0.355 cubic meters divided by the specified vol volume we calculated earlier of 2.483. And then when we're calculating percentages, we also have to multiply the whole thing by 100. So if we do that, put it into our calculator, then we find an answer of about 14%. So 14% is the answer to this problem. That's all for this video. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please consider subscribing or checking out my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. Leave a comment down below if you have any requests, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.